Today we're going to keep working on our graphic for our single. We are going to going to clean up these edges over here because they look horrible. <laughs> and then we'll take a look back at our reference image to make sure we got these correct because I think that some of these angles need to be changed like this one needs to go that way or something so let's get started I'm going to tab into edit mode and scroll in with my middle mouse wheel oops what the hell happened there hang on let me do something real quick I'm going to um, merge vertices by distance did it delete anything I have no idea Usually I'll see how many verts it deleted because that's just odd. Let me move my cursor out the way. Shift S, cursor to world origin. A to deselect, and let's try this again. Right click. I'm gonna drag it over. And seeing as we have the mirror modifier on, it'll it'll keep um it'll do the same thing on the other side. So I can actually see what I'm doing. Well, I'll add a subsurf modifier, possibly see if that doesn't, hopefully that won't screw things up. Let's see. Airplane flying by. Because it's easier for me to like move the stuff over here on the right and then look at the left to see what's, what's going on. Let's see. Is that the right one? Yeah. Just trying to get it to not be so so blocky. And I think that might be too high up. Let me move this down just a little. Well, let me think here. I think this edge, these two edges here, might be a little too wide. Okay. All right, let's add modifier. Let's make sure our clipping is on on our mirror. Turn that on now. Modifier subdivision surface. Ooh, that looks horrible. Let's level two in the viewport and let's keep it simple, but it still looks blocky. Hmm. So what we can do, and I don't think it'll, it'll be more about like moving these in the center. So I'm going to hit, we're just going to test it to make sure it looks okay. Control R and I'm going to scroll up once to get two. Then I'm going to S to scale and X to drag it over. But I'm not sure if I'm going to like that. Do the same thing down here. S then X. Hmm. Well, possibly. I'll just keep going down. Whoops. I needed two of those. Two. S, X. Okay, that. Yeah, let's, let's just undo all of that real quick. I'll just get rid of this subdivision surface because that... I wasn't working how I wanted it. So I'm going to look at our reference image again. Now I'm going to like move this over. I'm going to tab out of edit mode, click that, and then just like drag that over so I can just like look. Okay, so that one should be straight and this one goes. Okay. I'm just I'm just looking at the image. I still th I think that these two need to move over just a little bit because they look a little looked a little a little too far away from what the rest of these were. There's got to be a way to make this look better without the. Let's see. Let me look at the other side of the image. Real quick. 
trying to think. Maybe. All right. Now this one should be moved also. Or maybe I just need to move this bottom line over. Yeah. Move this one as well. Just to try to keep it. And then these two need to come out to the right. Let's see what I'm doing here. Yeah. Let's see. Yeah. Just move this over just a little more. Actually, move this over as well. Like I said, this isn't like a complete tutorial tutorial on how to do this. I'm making this up as I go along. <laughs> So, yeah, um, it's basically got it somewhat, somewhat. All right, let's uh, hide our image again here, center everything up. How to make it not look blocky. Okay, this, move this down. Those are on the same line. Hmm. This is so much fun. <laughs> this is why I don't do graphics full time. Um, let me think. I don't think, I don't really think I need that. Oh, right click. X dissolve. Edge loop. Oh, no. That's, never mind. You don't want to make triangles. Okay, that's why that edge is there. Hmm. To, yeah, because that would make triangles or an end gun, and we don't want that in our mesh. I mean, it's fine for like other things, but this is just not not this. Let's see, what can I do? Let's try the uh, subsurf again. <clears throat> and fix our lines. And we'll, I'll straighten those lines up when we get all of them done. Just hoping to get to the point where I could just add text today. I may, I may extrude this back, get some depth going in it, but I'm not sure yet. doesn't look too terrible except I do need one at the top here and another one over here just straighten those out a little bit okay, let me tab out of edit mode deselect mm, I think I might need it at the bottom too probably here and another one over here okay let's look well it doesn't look too terrible <laughs> um yeah it's not too bad might still need a little adjustment over here on the bottom like with this one bring it out a little to make it a little more rounder that was like one of the spots that just didn't look it didn't look right on let's see Let me double check everything here let's see I wonder if I can like S X zero yeah Whoops. S, X, shit, zero, enter. <laughs> then I can drag it over closer to that end. So this ought to be fun. It's just on these. It, the slats and the eyeglasses. Just to like 
move them over. I can even just move like the vertices over. I don't need to totally like make them straight up and down. It was just that one. I should probably do it on this one. Well, no. Oh, it's a different case over on that side. It's just a drag things around. I'm looking on this one. Move this over. And now I'll just leave that one by itself. Okay. Now we're getting somewhere. All right. So this sort of looks okay-ish. It's not going to be like all big and huge and whatever. It's just a 3,000 by, what was it, 33 or 3,000 by 3,000 or something image. I have it in my thing. So let's start getting some text and then we'll figure out. Um, we'll get the text added and we'll figure out layout in the next episode. So, all right, I'm going to shift A, add, where is the text? Okay, I'm going to go here. See, it says text. Let me drag that up a little. There we go. Go over here to the text area. Let's see. Now I'll do horizontal center, top baseline, center just in case, because I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to line up my text. Let's see, where's the character? All right, font. You know, open our font. It's not in this folder. It won't be in the Windows folder. It'll be in another, another folder. Oh, come on. Play this game with me. There we go. Neon 80s. This is what, it, this is the font I was looking for. I'll open that. Tab in edit mode, max space. Okay, and then I tab back out of edit mode. I'm gonna hit Control D, or wait, no, Shift D, Shift D. Drag down another one, and then I'm gonna tab out, and I'm gonna type my name. Okay, so. That's not how I want it. This is not how this is going to go. <laughs> I just wanted to get all the um, items in here. I may duplicate this again, make a different color and all this other fun stuff, but we'll, we'll save that one for another time. So I'm going to hit control save my work and yeah, we're, we're getting there on it. Although, you know, this bottom one looks, I don't know. I'm not, not too hip on that part. Let me like tab into edit mode real quick. Um, yeah, that looks a little, what you call it, too wide at the bottom. So I'm just going to drag that up just a little. Try to make it a little more um, cohesive with the outside. And I might take do these too. Just hitting shift and right click and selecting all these little bottom edges to a certain point, And then I'm just going to drag it up a little bit. Okay, that looks much better. Now we'll save again because saving your work is the thing to do. Just think for crashes or whatever, you should constantly find a stopping point and hit control S to save everything. That's the same with any project you're working on, music, save often. Otherwise, if something happens, you can't really recover it. Um, but yeah, this has just been rather boring video. So <laughs> anyway, we're, we're getting this going. It's all part of the process. You, you make your track, you mix your song, you work on it, you finish that. Now you need to have something that defines the track when people like are just randomly scrolling through Spotify, iTunes, whatever, and they run across your tracks like, oh, this looks cool. Let, let's, let's listen to this for a second. That's basically, it's like, it's, it's even can be compared to like book covers can either make or break a book. If you have a crappy cover, but your content, your, your story is great. No one's going to read it if they're not 
being brought in with the cover. And that's how usually that works. It's a shame, but that's basically people visualize, <laughs> read things with their eyes. Anyway, um, yeah, I digress. This is, this will get going. I mean, I'll probably make a second one of these and I probably should get my camera set up um, in the next video just so I can like take a look through it to um, figure out how I want to lay this out. I may put other things in with it or I may just leave it like this and have a second pair of shades next to it at some kind of angle. I don't know yet. That's all about aesthetics at this point. So what would you do different? How hard have you had to work to get a graphic to look good? Let me know in the comment section below and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.